All right, let's get back to this. Let's see if we can get to the right place in 10 hours. Carrying all this food. So I basically want to come out of here, come off this mountain, and make a pretty huge left. And probably face the same wolves I just avoided. Can I go down here? any point to it or not. Oh, I'm getting tired. Looking around all this stuff, I imagine. Maybe drinking a coffee. What if I can climb up over here? That looks a little bit steep. Yeah, I think that's too steep. I won't be able to get up that. Yeah, there's no way. Might be following that wolf. Oh, seems like I've done this before. That worked out. I have to kind of do a switchback. I don't want to sprain my ankle. Carrying all this weight and going downhill. I have to cross that bridge again. I don't think so. I think I can get around that bridge. sleep for two hours or something like that just to restore my my fatigue levels hopefully the weather will hold not winded that much. Can I eat any of this? The bulk of it. I'm not going to worry about that water yet. Um, let me just get an hour. Plenty of time left in the day. I think I could go through the mine, get to the other side. I don't know if I can make it all the way into the farmstead. But I would be able to make it to rural crossroads possibly. Weather's not too bad. I'll go for it. Can't remember, can I go up here? I think I've done it in the past. Down there is the two roads, the high road and the low road.
Well, I guess this is the really, really high road. If I can make it. Yeah, I guess I can't avoid it. I've got to cross that bridge. That's the bridge I thought I could avoid. Apparently that's kind of a choke point. We did that, no problem. Probably avoided a couple of wolves there. This is probably... Um, it's either this one or Mystery Lake where I get lost the most. Mystery Lake I only get lost because I haven't really traveled the back roads there very much. I always just stick with the train tracks. Unfortunately, so do the wolves. Typically. I know there's so many other areas to explore there, but like a frozen creek and all that area. I don't think I've done that much. I should do it. I guess when I'm after that achievement, I will uh, have to. Achievement where you have to explore every interior on both Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway. I should be doing pretty good on that achievement here in Coastal Highway. But I don't know. I don't know about Mystery Lake. I may have missed, you know, some obscure cabin or something. And who knows, I could be missing some obscure cabin here too. I think this is where I was supposed to go up. Pretty sure. It's gonna be tough. Yes, dude, it's gonna be tough. You can do it though. You can do it. I think I pop up near a trailer here. That will be confirmation I'm in the right spot. Yes. There we are. From here, I pretty much just head straight up that little trail there. And then it should be on the left. I think I'm going to have another encounter. Which that's crazy. I, I thought for sure going to the wrong place and then having to change and go to the right place I was going to have at least one encounter but I ended up being able to avoid, avoid it. Provided I can get up here without incident. That's pretty fortuitous. Doing all that without having an encounter. weather. Ah, it's even warm. That's fine. I could probably drink. I would lose about 10 pounds traveling. 
That would be two more to go, and I'd be right. There's one more spot up here with the possibility of a wolf. So I'm just preparing for it. Sometimes this road has a wolf there. I don't think he comes this far, but it was a possibility, so just preparing for it. Seven hours left. I think this is a dead end, right? Yeah. It's not a dead end, it's a dead dude. strange.
I think we have the time, the energy, so why not? Stuff should be cured. Yeah, it is. Is this good water? Can't remember. No, it's not safe. That's probably good. Yep. And piece of meat I should probably eat. That is good water. This is bad water, right? I could use this. No, you can't use it. Not without preparing it. Silly person. We are good on that front right now. Back up to 94 pounds. <laughs> Alright, let's go. weather doesn't look good. Temperature dropping. It's kind of staying the same. I could probably make it to the rural crossroads. But that's getting a little nasty. I don't want to sacrifice my clothing. Stay up here. Plenty of food and water. meat might make me sick. Well, so thinking about not eating that.
five hours. Is that enough to get home? And in this weather. Let's see what it's doing. It's not hurting my coat, I know that. So let's let's uh see you wolf. Let's uh, charge on. Let's go ahead and eat. Might eat that when I get home. Just so I'm home. I don't have to worry about getting out again. Or traveling in that. That would be bad. Oh, yeah, it's getting a lot worse. I'm not going to move. This is the type that destroys your clothing, so I'm kind of done traveling. Gonna be hanging out here. Well, we got this far though. That's kinda cool. I didn't expect to get this far. So, did we destroy our clothes? That... No, it didn't drop any, so that's good. I don't think we have any repair items here. All we can do is sleep. Do it. Uh, I think we had about five hours left, so I can try maybe two hours, and then I can probably get home with three hours left. But beyond that, I don't think I can. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'll step outside just to see. Sometimes it changes when you step outside. That'd be a no. I wonder if my clothes suffered any just standing there. No. Very good. So um, we're going to call it a night. And then get there in the morning. And that might complete an episode once I get home, but we'll see. Um, I could go ahead and sleep right now. Let's just do seven. That should mean I have about six hours left of the night by the time I'm done. He's going downhill fast. <sighs> no, breakfast should uh, lighten our load even more. Good weather. There you go. I don't think we can eat all that for breakfast. No. But even better. Not bad. I can even run a little. Saw a little wolf over there heading that way. I think he was heading away from me, so I'm not too worried.
I love that fog. We get that sort of fog here. You drive through it and it dissipates along the roads and you can't see out into the fields. It's kind of neat. I kind of like it anyway. Very mysterious looking. I might need to go hunting when I get home because all my meat could be bad I wouldn't think so but it might be That's pretty, that fog. Sun cutting through the fog. Whoa, it was a cold morning. Didn't even check that. Yeah, it was a pretty freezing cold morning. That's okay, sun's out. Gonna warm us up. Sometimes there's a wolf up here. As I pass by, I sometimes ping him. And I... Been taken to climbing up here just to look, just to see if he's here or not. Rather than just passing by and have him attack me, flank me. But, looks like we got away with it. No problem. I think my video's a bit glitchy. Like it's a little slow, it's almost like my CPU is too busy. I think that is my voice recording software, which I'm going to try to do this one without the voice recording software. When I'm encoding, I'm going to try to do it without that, that voice track. I think my voice track is getting put into straight into the broadcast because I tested it and it worked just perfect. So I'm going to leave it if that's the case. Otherwise, I may have to overlay the additional voice track. So I am recording both. So that is CPU work that my CPU shouldn't have to do, but it is right now. And uh, apologize for that. I may try to only do one or the other in the future, but it was working so well, I thought well, I just should just leave it. That way I don't have to re encode it. Okay, can we eat anything? Boy, that meat is just lost to 1% since the last time we stopped. Be surprised if I can get less than 80 pounds, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yes, I hear you guys. You down there? Messing around. Over here? No? Cutting through this field with the hay bales is a shortcut, but 
right there is the reason that I don't typically do it. There's also a bear that wanders through here. Suppose now that I know he's there, I could avoid him. Just, just go wide this way and then cut over. But uh, well, I still may yet do that. We'll see. By the time I get right here, I'm already at the bridge, so I mean I can already see the bridge, and all I gotta do is cross that bridge, and then I'm pretty much home. So that's the reason I just never do it. Plus, I would miss my fireplace hill. Get all my firewood. Almost home, guys. Successful fishing trip. The fish I caught with 11 pounds, I almost made it too. There's like a little piece of him left. It's already daylight. Oh, it's just. It'll be like 10 in the morning or so. Why would you get music at 10 in the morning? Very dear friends are in my front yard. I guess I can claim this house, right? It's mine. Call it home. Whoa, it's cold. Okay, I may not do that again just because it's cold. Yes, it's very cold. There's my dear friend. Let's get in before I get hypothermia. Don't really need that. home.
Hey, somebody left my door open. Get in here where it's warm. Oof. There we go. Aw, fish didn't make it in the house. Well, that was a successful fishing trip. I appreciate you hanging out with me, and uh, we'll see you next time.